man. Let me say, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an attorney. Anything that I say in this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. May not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock. Make no financial decision based on anything that I say, you know, in this video. I'm just an entertainer on YouTube. Look, I said it almost, it's probably been over a year now. I wasn't the only one. Some other people said it also. I said that in order for us to get justice, the shareholders to get justice, man, with AMC, you know, considering the fact that of all this allegedly criminal activity that's been taking place from short sellers and one percenters, I said that, man, we're going to have to see a courtroom and lawyers going to have to get involved. I wasn't the only one that said it. It was some other people that said it also. You see what I'm saying? See, I said that, you know, it was inevitable because that's how you deal with criminals, you know, which I, I feel like that's what we're, this is my own personal opinion. I feel like that's what we're doing. Having a law enforcement background, I said, man, that's how you deal with criminals. Lawyers, courtrooms, and law enforcement. That's the only thing, man, they understand. Unless you're going to get on some gangster shit, which I feel like that's what they own when it comes to us because they're not following no rules. They're not following no regulations. They're not following no laws. They're not doing any of it, you see, as far as, you know, when it comes to what they're doing, you know, as far as our short squeeze play and our stock is concerned. Am I advocating that? No, that's what courtrooms are for. But I'm saying, man, that's that's the way they operate. They operate like gangsters. You see what I'm saying? But see, when I went by myself, when we was talking about courtrooms being in, the courtrooms being involved, attorneys, investigators, and stuff like that, when it comes to our short squeeze play, our stock in the criminal activity, people didn't want to hear it. All people wanted to talk about, they wanted to talk about man, the market crashing. You know, they wanted to talk about banks falling. You see what I'm saying? And look at where we at right now. Courtrooms involved. Attorneys involved. Investigators involved. See what I'm saying? Because you got to understand, man, in my opinion, we're dealing with criminal being their hedge funds. Now, when I was talking about you know, the courts being involved, attorneys and stuff like that, I, I was talking about AMC, uh, Adam Aaron and retail investors going up against the devil and one percenters, taking them to court for the allegedly criminal activity that's taking place in AMC. You know, I wasn't talking about, think about it, man. Who would have thought that right now the shareholders would be in court in a lawsuit, in a battle against their own company in AMC? which is well-deserved. You see what I'm saying? That I was talking about us going up against the one percenters when I was talking about going to court. But you know what I'm saying? You can see right now, that's not what's going to happen. I mean, based on what we're seeing, a lot of people are of the opinion that Adam Aaron, man, he's working with the one percenters. He's working with the short sellers. So, man, we ain't got to worry, but it ain't finna happen talking about us and Adam Aaron Taking no short seller, to, no short sellers to court, you know, no criminal billionaire hedge funds to court, or taking nobody to court because they illegally made short now stock. Because a lot of people are of the opinion, may not necessarily be factual, that Adam Aaron is working, you know, with the short sellers. You see what I'm saying? And see, man, look, what prompted me to do this video was that I was watching Common Sense Investor video. And he was talking about how he submitted some documentation to the court saying that he no longer wanted to be represented by Allegheny and their lawyers and he wanted to get his own legal counsel. That's what prompted me to do this video. And see, I think that after everything that we've seen so far in our lawsuit and in court, it's natural for some people to feel like they want to serve their ties, you know, they want to serve their ties with Allegheny and they want to get their own legal counsel. After looking at everything that's going on with our lawsuit and how they've been moving in the lawsuit as far as Allegheny, you know, and the attorneys. 
that's supposed to be representing us. You see what I'm saying? I think, man, the reason why shareholders is raising, man, so many questions about um, Allegheny in this lawsuit is because, man, they have become questionable. You see what I'm saying? See, look, I think it's three things. It's several things that's uh, that's causing retail investors to raise questions about Allegheny. But I think it's three things that's important that's making Allegheny and the attorneys that's supposed to be representing us look suspicious. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of us, like I said, man, we want to know is Allegheny working with short sellers and working with AMC too? Because keep in mind, AMC and Adam Aaron, they the defendants in this lawsuit. They not on our side. But like I was saying, I think it's three things that putting Allegheny and their lawyers in the position where they looking suspect to AMC retail investors. And I think one of them is, is that they're, they're not the way it appears from what I can see. They not challenging the reverse stock split. They not trying to stop the reverse stock split. And you see, that's one of the main problems that retail investors got with Adam Aaron and Ontario Capital is this reverse stock split that they trying to force down the throat of the shareholders that we didn't want. So I'm like, if Allegheny and the lawyers are not trying to challenge or stop the reverse stock split, then it's obvious, man, that that's benefiting short sellers because the short sellers, in my opinion, and a lot of other retail investors' opinion, they want the reverse stock split because the reverse stock split is going to benefit short sellers. You see what I'm saying? It's not going to benefit retail investors. And see, we know AMC retail investing the shareholders, man, we're not stupid. We know the real reason why Adam Aaron and one percenters, they want the reverse stock split and they want to take 90% of our shares. We know why. We know the real reason. So I'm saying, man, if Allegheny, if they're not going to address that, then they, in my opinion, man, they working in the best interest of the short sellers. Number two, man, is a problem. What make them suspect is that they don't want the court to address or investigate the synthetic shares that um, the shareholders of AMC retail investors believe that's in AMC. They don't want the courts to investigate that. And I'm like, you know, they using terminology and they responding to us the way the short sellers and the hedge funds that have been allegedly using this, using these synthetic shares and counterfeit shares, they respond in the same way they respond. They trying to, you know, call us cult members or make us look like we're conspiracy theorists. You see what I'm saying? That's the way Adam Aaron and the short sellers are responding toward us. They acting just like them. And when we all know now at this point that illegal neck is shorting is a issue. The SEC just locked some folks up for fraud. You see what I'm saying? And illegal neck is shorting. You see what I'm saying? And the third thing is that we want to know why, you know, Allegheny and the attorneys, why they got an issue, you know, with a share count. If retail investors want the court man to implement a share count or even a share recall, why they got a problem with it? That's the issue. You see what I'm saying? We all know, man, that it's suspect as to, you know, them actually knowing how many, how many shares it is or how many shareholders it is. Because we know, man, that this, man, we know that our stock has been traded over and over again. The float has been traded over and over again. So we know it's an issue with the amount of shares that's in our company or how many shareholders it is. So we like, man, if you're supposed to be representing the shareholders, why do you have a problem if we asking the court for a share count or a share recall? Why you got a problem with that? You see what I'm saying? The only people would benefit from that mindset is short sellers. Because if they short in the stock and they traded the float over and over again, then that means they don't want it to be exposed. You see what I'm saying? So, man, it's just, you know, it's natural to see why you got some shareholders and retail investors that may want their own 
legal representation at this point because it just seemed like when it comes to Allegheny, they not working in the shareholders' best interest and it may be a conflict of interest when it comes to them. And the last thing we want to know, did Allegheny get in this lawsuit just so that the attorneys can make a, month, a lot of money off attorney fees and did, and did they get in this lawsuit because they were just trying to secure a win for Adam Aaron and his reverse stock split. It's just that simple. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.